102.5. Charles Gabus Ford presents Star 102.5's All Star Summer Concert. What a fun time. We've had so much fun already, but we've got Train backstage right now, and uh, I'm kind of nervous because I've been a fan since I first heard Meet Virginia. And that has traveled like from radio station to radio station for me. I've got every CD you've ever put out. And I have to say, with all sincerity, California 37, in my opinion, is the best you've ever put out. And oh, I, cool. Thanks. I don't buy CDs very often. And when that one came out, I was there the day it came out, purchased it, you know, I didn't, and didn't get a record company copy. I gave you my money, and you, you made it worth every penny. That CD has so many pop culture references, so many hooky songs. You outdid yourselves. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. You know, we've uh, coming from a fan that's been with us for that long. It means a lot, and you know, we've we've tried to have a successful follow-up album for 15 years now. <laughs> this is uh, this is unprecedented. What are you doing? <laughs> Now, I also love that you guys have a Pinterest page. Now, I don't know how invested you guys are in that or the ladies in your lives are taking care of that, but I think that is so... Pinterest! You, someone has got a trained Pinterest page and all the pop culture references that are made on California 37 have got little uh, pins. And, you know, a lot of our listeners are big into Pinterest, and I think that is a very, very cool thing you guys are doing. I think that's actually probably one of the, the things that we don't do ourselves we do everything else uh, that's a chick i know it's a chick who's doing that because she's pinning chocolate thing? stuff and wine oh, right. but i know you guys are into wine yeah, love that you guys have your own chocolate. wine company and chocolate okay yeah we do have a wine page i know i love that you guys have your own wine company yeah and uh yeah we have a lot going on right now with the cb san francisco wine company we have a, a new chocolate coming out as well from ghirardelli wow it's our own brand uh, but yeah, we're really involved with all the, like, Scott's really active with uh, posting pictures on Instagram, and Pat's always tweeting. And, and he's got his blog that I follow, oh, so yeah. I know you're very busy. You interact with your fans a lot, which I think is very cool. Um, but I was kind of surprised when someone had told me that um, before Hey Soul Sister, that, I mean, I know you took a break, but there was a possibility that you might not have gotten back together. Was that a very real possibility? You know, we didn't know what our break meant. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know what it meant when we took it, and uh, we didn't really know until we were pretty deep into it, because what we really needed to do was unknown. Uh, we needed to take a break from the project, but also take a break from one another, kind of resort out priorities. And, you know, it's like you reach a certain point in your life where you go, okay, do I want to spend you know, this amount of time with anybody ever again. And, and I think that we really missed each other, but we missed that that original thing that we had when we made that first record that you were referring to earlier with me, Virginia. And it was just a simple love for music. And then when we loved our music, we loved what we were doing. We weren't thinking about money or success or radio. Yeah. We were thinking about how fun it was and how like lucky we or more fortunate we, we were. And we really genuinely got back to that same feeling and we made half that album in London, uh, the same as San Francisco album, and the other half in San Francisco. And uh, it was just kind of like being in a new band all over again. Well, and look how successful Save Me San Francisco ended up being. And and you guys seem happy now, like it's it's fun again, which I like. It almost seems like you're you're back and having well, real I'm fun. A, I'm, these guys are much happier than me. We, uh, we have three <laughs> buses out, and uh, my bus, my bus looks like a floating turd compared to theirs. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I went into their buses and I was like, are you serious? Are they the neat freaks? I, no, no. These buses inside of them are like walking into a glamorous hotel room and mine is like a Super 8. <laughs> no offense, Super 8. We'd love to cut a deal with you something. <laughs> now, um, I know you recently did uh, something that surprised me. Um, I had a Red, Red, Red Book magazine and I see an interview that your daughters did with you. Oh yeah, that was that really, was so cool. really funny, yeah. Uh, it, it was funny, there's a lot of things that weren't written in there because I have a 14 year old daughter who was like, Dad, so when uh, when I go on my first date, what is it, you know, like, yeah. where did you go on your first date? And I was like, oh, this is her, I don't hurt my ears. <laughs> and then while that was happening, my, uh, my three year old, who's now almost four, was like, Daddy, Daddy, like interrupting the whole time. I was like, yeah, honey, what's, what's going on, Autumn? What are you doing? <laughs> Those were her questions every time. What are you doing? 
<laughs> Before California 37 came out, you put out this little mini video um, that went viral on you know YouTube and everything. Um, talked about how great the album was going to be, and I got such a kick out of the shaving of the head. And I, it, it's a very great. funny video, but one of the best parts is stop buying albums like this and you're holding up Matt Nathanson's album trash and I, and I got the video from Matt Nathanson so I thought it was funny you know Matt's a good guy and he could take it but <laughs> yeah he's really funny and a good sport and a terrible musician <laughs> I know yeah you know and that's why you took him out on the road right so he could learn a little something right we're just trying to teach him how to do it <laughs> well you guys really California 37 the minute I heard it I was listening to the songs and I'm like this is gonna be a single this is gonna be a single and I'm like this sounds like Butch Walker and loved that I, I'm a huge Butch Walker fan yeah. and loved that uh, he was involved and I could hear it in some of the songs and I gotta tell you the collaboration all the way through hats off to you I mean it's it's the yeah. best album you possibly could have put out Thank you. Yeah, we, we give Butch a lot of credit for like keeping the uh, the kind of rock edge alive in this record. You do rock on this record. I mean, I love the ballads. I love the ballads. But when Train rocks and gives you one of those hooks that you want to crank up the radio and sing along to, there is nothing better. Thank you. That's really nice. Thank you for coming to Des Moines, Iowa and playing our little show. And uh, you guys are taking the stage. Uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. Um, come on out. Still time to see the show. It's all happening here at Waterworks Park. This is Caress Carter backstage at Starwater 2.5's All-Star Summer Concert. Thank you to Train for joining us, and have a great time tonight, you guys. Star 102.5. Charles Davis Ford presents Star 102.5's All-Star Summer Concert.